Every spring for 152 years, the president of Cornell University has stood in front of its graduating class to offer congratulations, good wishes, and usually a few words of advice. Commencement is the culmination of years of hard work and dedication, a celebration of effort rewarded and experiences shared. It's a time for each year's class to come together for the last time as Cornell students before heading out into the world as Cornell graduates. This year, as all of us know, is different. Throughout the unprecedented events of these past months, as our community's lives and expectations have been upended, reshaped, and upended again, our hearts have been most of all with you, our graduating seniors. Since the day you arrived at Cornell, all of you expected to end your time on campus the way that generations of Cornellians have, celebrating commencement in Ithaca, with caps and gowns, with families and friends. That is what all of you deserve, and it is exactly what we will do as soon as we responsibly can. And I can't wait to celebrate with you, a class that will always have its own place in the history of Cornell. Just like a teacher isn't supposed to have favorite students, a university president isn't supposed to have a favorite class. But the class of 2020 will always be special to me for what we have shared. When I arrived on campus as Cornell's president in 2017, today's graduating seniors were freshmen. In the years that have passed since then, all of us have learned and grown and become Cornellians together. And while none of us would have chosen for your last semester here to end the way that it did, sometimes it's the darkest times in our lives that ultimately teach us the most. I've always noticed that the most successful and the happiest people I've ever known share two characteristics. One is that they find ways to spend their lives focused not on themselves, but on other people. And two is that they're able to cope with and adapt to change. And as difficult and traumatic as the events of this year have been, all of us should take pride in what our community has done. We put the lives and the health of others ahead of our own disappointments. And we found new and creative ways to continue to learn, continue to connect, and continue to pursue our Cornell mission. And there is no question that each of you has had a profound lesson in dealing with change. If there's one thing we all learned this year, it's that Cornell is more than just a place. It is an ethos, it is a community, and it is who we are wherever we are. I am so very proud of each and every one of you. And from every school and college at Cornell. From the College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. And from the College of Architecture, Art and Planning. From the College of Arts and Sciences. From the College of Engineering. From the College of Human Ecology. From Computing and Information Science. From the Cornell S.C. Johnson College of Business. From the School of Hotel Administration. From the Dyson School. From the School of Industrial and Labor Relations. From the College of Veterinary Medicine. From the Law School. From Cornell Tech. From the Graduate School. From the Samuel Curtis Johnson Graduate School of Management. Congratulations, Congratulations class of 2020. We can't wait to see you all back in Ithaca on Shulkwal Field and to celebrate commencement with you, IRL. Oh.